Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be something slightly different. So, I set myself a bit of a task uh, over a month to see what freebies and goodies I could get, mainly in the form of beauty. Now, I enlisted my husband a little bit into some of these because he travels away quite a bit and gets quite a few freebies. So I've got a whole pot full and I'm gonna go through each one and tell you what they are. So first of all, I went into our local John Lewis and went to the Bobby Brown counter. I was after, um, I'd seen it on another, somebody else using it on another YouTube video. It was a moisturizer slash primer. Um, so I thought I'd go in and see if I could get a little sample of that to try. So yes, I did. The lady was really, really helpful who I spoke to. And this was the vitamin base. And it is, oops, and it is jam packed, full. She's given me a really good sample actually. And it's, it's a lovely, quite thick in texture, facial moisturizer, moisturizer can't get that word out, um, which you can use as a primer as well. So the moisturizer I use at the moment is a Clinique one um, and they've discontinued it. So I was on the lookout for something new. This was a genuine reason why I went into Bobbi Brown. Smells lovely. It's, um, it's quite citrusy actually. Uh, I really like it, but it's pretty expensive. I think, I think it was about £42 for a full pot. So I'm not sure if I'll be, I'll be switching to that or not. Whilst I was in there, she also, we talked about some of the different things, just about a skin regime really, and I told her I used the Clinique three step. So she gave me the equivalent of Bobbi Brown's versions. So this one is an extra repair cream for really for the evening. So once you've taken all your makeup off, pop some of that on, leave that on overnight, because I would imagine that's a little bit more nourishing than the vitamin base. Let's see how much I got of this one. Again, a jam pack full pot, so well done Bobby Brown. Similar, similar sort of smell as the other one. But I do think, like I've just said, I think this might be a slightly thicker consistency. Really nice, whatever it is. And then the other sample I picked up was um, a repair serum. Serum. So this is the other item. I think this one was nearly £65. This is like a repair serum. So that is a lot, a lot different in consistency. Ooh. It almost smells a bit medicinal. Let's pop a bit of that on. That's not the, well, the consistency of that is very different compared to the other two. But that's supposed to repair your skin. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm talking about, do I? <laughs> this is a Bobbi Brown one too. So this is a hydrating eye cream um, for under the eyes. Now these two aren't freebies as such. They are in a way. So like I said earlier, I use Clinique. Uh, and when they have a bonus time on, which they did not so long ago in Boots. Zara. What are you doing? She wants to be in the video. Now she's having a stretch. So when you buy some full, full price, full sized products, they give you um, a load of freebies, really. Um, this time they had, well, I got seven. And you were able to choose them because previously they have dictated what you get in these, um, these bags. They're like makeup bags full of goodies. So these are just a couple of the ones that I picked. I've got a... Dramatically different moisturizing lotion plus. So this is this is the lotion that I used prior to the thicker cream that I've just said that's been discontinued. So I may have to go back to this. The only reason I changed from it was I was just getting through so much of it so quickly. So um, when I went to a clinic counter, she suggested I might want to choose to move to the other stuff. And then the mild facial soap. Absolutely love this stuff. If you've got sensitive skin. Uh, it's really good. It's really mild. Sometimes I use it to uh, wash down in the old <laughs> If I'm a bit um, Tender in that area for any reason because uh, I do find sometimes maybe you're the same um, 
some of the soap products are very, very fragranced, very strong, and they're not quite um, sensitive enough for my sensitive areas. So I've got two of those. I think I've got an eyeliner and then a couple of other bits that I've not tried before. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know recently I had to go to the dentist a couple of times. So on each trip, I picked up a free sample of toothpaste. Um, why not? I use Oral-B toothpaste all the time anyway, um, but I don't think I've tried this one. This is the original Gum and Enamel Repair. Very nice. And then on the second trip, I picked up a Sensodyne toothpaste. So this Sensodyne one is called Pronamel and it gives you a refreshing sensation. Goodness. Uh, extra freshness refreshing mint protects enamel for everyday from everyday acids so i do drink uh, sorry so i do eat quite a lot of fruit and i tend to drink a lot of water to make sure i wash the acidity off my teeth because um my teeth they aren't the best part of me i must admit they and now i'm getting older they're breaking and i've had a lot of fillings and don't know why, whether it's because I eat too many sweets, I'm not sure. But what I do when I eat the fruit, I have a, um, afterwards, I have a, a sip of water or a good old swig just to wash um, the acid away off my teeth, just to protect them a bit more. So next, I went into the body shop. I have to say, they are very, very good with giving out samples. On one trip, I got three. So let's have a look what I got. So one of the things I wanted to get was... Um, the vitamin c i think that's a bit like the bobby brown i think it's a moisturizer slash primer my friend amanda um she recommended that i try that she actually gave me a little bit of a sample to have a go on and i really liked it and in fact i wore it um to work under my normal makeup and two people said to me that day your skin looks really nice so post haste down to uh, the body shop to see if I could get a little bit of a sample for myself so I didn't have to buy any. Uh, 1750 it is and it's um, you're not going to be able to see it very well on here but it's sort of like um, it's not silicon but it's quite a thick a thick consistency. Um, I don't think you can use it just on its own but it's great underneath makeup and it feels very nourishing and smells nice too. So I also picked up some of their yogurts. Again, Amanda recommended these to me and they are the equivalent of, they're like a moisture, uh, they're like a moisturiser or body lotion, but they're called yoghurt. So I've got a lovely strawberry fragrant one, fragranced one here. Can't really see very well. And that's a bit like a gel, shiny gel. Oh, that smells. Oh, that's dreamy. That is really nice. So I shall look forward to giving that a little go. The only thing is with that, that's not a massive amount, is it, if you're trying to put it over your body. But you sort of get the idea. And then here, we've gone for a hand cream. Um, they had loads and loads of different hand creams for different sort of problems with hands. I just said I wash my hands a lot as do most people, uh, and they get very dry. So she said for me to try this. It's a hemp hand cream. Whoa, that is thick. Oh my goodness. That is really thick. Right, let's put a bit of that on. Oh, that's quite a nice smell. Mm, don't know what that smells of. That's really annoying, isn't it? Because now I've said that and you don't know. I suppose it must smell of hemp. I don't know what hemp smells like. Oh, that's lovely. That's really, really nice and nourishing, that is. You can feel that. You can't see it on my hand, but yeah, I like that a lot. I really like that hemp hand cream, so I may buy a proper tube of it. So yes, Body Shop, you did me well. So Alan stayed in a hotel in Brussels. He, that's my husband, he travels away a lot with business and um, stays in various hotels. And on this occasion, it was a Hilton. And he's got me, ooh, I'm not gonna open it. It's a Preline, Preline? Unique Belgian chocolate cup. 
In fact, shall we get it out of the packet? We do. Oh! Oh, that's well cute. I think I've just squashed it though. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Whoops. It's very soft. It's like a cup of chocolate goodiness. I'm not going to eat it because I've just been eating some of the chocolate and uh, I already feel a bit sick. So we'll pop that back in its little home. And I shall eat that soon. Another freebie from Bare Minerals. Uh, this is their foundation. These are really, really good samples. Uh, you get a proper... I've just had a quick go on that. But you get like a proper sample there of foundation. Can you see that? I think you can. And with it, you get a tiny little brush. These are really cute. I've, I've had a few of these actually, because I have I did wear Bare Minerals makeup for quite a long time. So I just used to go and try different colours and different types. And these are really nice little brushes that come with the sample. These can be used for things like eyeshadow blending as well. Just found another body shop one. Uh, what we got here? Almond Hand and Nail Cream. Oh, that's a completely different consistency to the other one. Uh, much, much softer. That smells a bit like baby lotion. Yeah, that's nice. So that one you can rub on your nails as well. So on your cuticles, I presume. No way near the consistency of the hemp one, but maybe that might be a little too thick for some people. So that is a nice little check. That's gone straight into my skin, actually. It's not left. Whereas the hemp's left a bit of a, um, a greasy feeling on my hand, that has sunk straight in. So, Debenhams next. Um, they have this thing called a Beauty Club membership, which I did sign up for because I think I got a, a five pounds off something or five pounds worth of points. And they say every month you can go in and get some samples or like a little goodie bag that's what part of this um group or whatever you might call it so every single time i've been into debenhams i've gone in and asked for it and it's never there i got quite cross the other day actually because i said i've been in now three times which i had within about a week or two the end of a month beginning of a month and on every occasion they told me some other blinking story that doesn't come out till the end of the month, doesn't come out to the start of the month. And on the last occasion, I just said, you've told me three different things. Stuff it. I'm not coming back again. And I didn't go back. Uh, but now I've sort of shot myself in the foot. So I may go back in the hope that the person who I was, I wasn't rude, but I was a little bit, a bit, a bit aggrieved. So um, hopefully he won't be there next time. Anyway, on the second one, when I started moaning because I couldn't get anything, they gave me a few freebies out of the pot that they had. She said, help yourself. So I did. The lady was there watching what I was doing. So it's not like I took it. Not like I went crazy. Well, I did actually, because I got quite a few things. So we've got here a kale, something this is pronounced. Never heard of this brand. K I E. HLS. Keel? Kales? Not sure. So that's a soothing oil to foam body cleanser. That'd be quite interesting, won't it? See how that goes. So it must must foam up once you uh, start washing with it. In that brand as well, I also got this. Kales again. I'm not sure again how you pronounce that. A rare earth deep pore cleansing mask with Amazonian white clay. Sorry, I've got a bit of a nightmare going on here. I've got the, got the curtains open, it's the daytime and it keeps changing colours. Right, let's try and dodge that bit. Right, okay, sorry. So this is a deep pore cleansing mask. So I'm wondering if this is something like a bit of a clay thing. Oh yes, it is. You can't, I'm sorry, the colours are really bad on here. So this is like, um, oh, this is really thick. What does it say to do? Well, it doesn't help tell you what to do with it. 
intensively purifies to minimize pores like that's a mouthful so it's um yeah it's like a clay mask isn't it so i presume you put that on your face leave it 20 minutes wash it off it's not really got any fragrance to it but yeah i won't i will have a certainly have a go on that then from the clarins counter got a little clarins freebie Clarins are always really good with giving away freebies as well, I think. Uh, this is an SPF of 15 and it's Hydra Essential uh, Fluid Fondant. Moisturises and quenches milky lotion. Uh, normal to combination skin, so I presume it's some sort of moisturiser. So that's what it looks like out of the box. Give it a little go on the hand. Fragrance free. Actually, no, that has got a bit of a fragrance. Nice bit, bit, uh, another um, sort of fruity one. Yep, yeah, so that's nice, just rubs into the skin. I presume that's for your face though. And then another one, Care of Alan. This is a body lotion. So he gets, obviously, when he stays in hotels, all sorts of different um, toiletries. He, he did bring me loads and loads back, but now I've said, because I've got quite a lot, I'll just take this one because I do use a lot of body lotion anyway. So this is Eco Boutique, and this is Aloe Leaf and Green Tea. Nothing spectacular, but it's nice for free. And it smells nice too. And then another occasion when I was in Debenhams, they, were, they gave out a few uh, different types of perfume. So I got a sample of Angel. This is a really, really popular popular perfume I don't need to spray that one because I've smelt it before um, you may already have some of that yourself or you certainly might know somebody who wears it because it is very popular never heard of this Ellie Saab uh, let's have a little smell I'm going to spray it onto a tissue because I don't want to put it on me in case I don't like it ooh that's not too bad actually. Mm, I, I can't really tell you what it smells like because it's not smell of vision, is it? I'm very, very fussy with perfume actually, and um, I think I'd wear that. Doesn't necessarily smell like anything else I've smelled before. It's lovely though, so Ellie Saab La Parfume Royal. And then finally this one, this is Mon Gurlian, Gurlian, not sure how you pronounce that. I think this is called Intense. Oops. Mm, that's not very strong. I've had to spray a few bits on there to get that. Hmm, that's nice, pleasant. Again, actually, I quite like that as well. Out of those three, I definitely wear two of those. I'm not sure about Angel. I really, really like this, but I don't think it really suits me for some reason. I have tried to wear it, and I just don't... I just don't think it suits me. I prefer the other one that they do, which is called Alien. So I've got a sample of that there. That's from what I've had before. Um, and as you can see... Over the last couple of years, I've collected quite a few different samples. I just keep them all in that little bag so they don't go missing in the drawer. It's very difficult to sort of communicate how things smell when you can't smell them, um, which I know can be a bit annoying because you, you sort of just don't get the idea of it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see again in the future, if I could go off and get some more freebies, but obviously a bit different to those. So that's it. I hope that wasn't too dull. Um, you probably not got this far if it was. Let me know if you've tried any of those or if there's any sort of samples that you think I should have a go at getting. I already did one before on makeup samples. I got a load of different foundations. That's a video on my channel somewhere. Um, so I didn't want to cover the too much makeup on this one because I've already done that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you've not already. And thank you again if you are one of my long-standing subscribers. Not that I've been going for that long. Anyway, I shall see you again soon on another video. Bye for now.